All right, it's almost time. Uh, I hope you weren't looking for production value out of this reaction, because this is probably the jankest way I've recorded anything in probably ever since I started the Luxon channel. Um, just for reference, things happen, so I can't use my normal setup, so right now I am sitting on a bed with my microphone, with a laptop, because like I always do things with a laptop, but... It only has two USB ports, one of which is the hard drive I am saving this reaction to. The other is my microphone, which is just sitting on my pillow, no pop filter, no anything. So this is going to be terrible, but also fantastic. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see, we've got five minutes before this thing actually starts, so I don't know. I genuinely don't know what to expect out of this. Or, really, I don't know what to start talking about, because there are a lot of things. Like, let's just, let's just break it down and start off with things that we know are going to happen. So, we know there's going to be some Luigi's Mansion stuff. We know there's going to be some Pokemon stuff. We have a pretty good inkling that there's going to be a Smash character reveal from a specific stable of characters, and there's one very good guess that people are thinking. We're pretty much going to be looking at some Banjo date. So, Luigi's Mansion, it's just going to be more Luigi's Mansion stuff. I don't think there's anything super interesting about that, but, um... Yeah, it's going to be more Luigi's Mansion. Pokemon's going to be the interesting thing, because this is a 40-minute Direct, and whenever it gives a highlight to certain games, that usually means that each one gets at least five minutes. So, I'm guessing that a quarter to a third of the Direct is just going to be Sword and Shield and Luigi's Mansion 3. Honestly, I think since Luigi's Mansion is probably going to be a shorter game anyway, it's going to have a bit less than Pokemon, but Pokemon comes out in a couple months, right? This is the least they revealed about any Pokemon game since I started getting into the series. And I think the first generation that came out after I started becoming a Pokemon fan was 5. So there's a lot that they have to show off if they want to reveal as much as they did for Gen 6 and 7, which was honestly almost everything. So, like, I wouldn't mind if they kept some certain things secret, but, like, um... Let's see. We've only got four gym leaders. Two of them are version exclusive. So that's only three out of eight gym leaders. Most games reveal all of them. We haven't gotten middle stage starters yet, which honestly I think is kind of ridiculous. Don't mind me. I'm just checking Streamlabs to make sure my microphone didn't come unplugged because that's a very real possible concern. But anyway. So let's see. In terms of other things... Um... What else could... Okay. This is the, the big thing. The really big thing is Monolith Soft is probably going to show something off here. Soraya Saga retweeted the direct, and the lead scenario writer for the Xenoblade series, not Takahashi, someone else, also retweeted the direct announcement. If it was just Soraya Saga, it would be something Monolith is working on was here, which would mean Animal Crossing or Zelda. But the writer means that it's something with a story. Animal Crossing kind of doesn't have one. Zelda is probably going to be handled by Aonuma's team, which means that this is probably going to be a Monolith Soft game. I don't think it's going to be Xeno. If it's Xeno, it's a spin-off. But if it's not Xeno, then it's probably the new action RPG, and I, trust me, I'm just as excited for that as I would be for anything else, like an actual Xenoblade game. But, like, I'd be more excited for an actual Xenoblade game, but I don't think it's going to happen. I expect to see something, like, Animal Crossing is going to get a trailer, no matter what. Zelda probably won't. They're going to save that for next E3, because they tend to do that, where their stinger for one E3 is the main event for the next one, or something like that. But, let's see, what else are they going to show off? Um, there's a lot of stuff coming. So, there's probably going to be a small Dragon Quest segment. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of torn as to whether or not they're going to give anything on Astral Chain. Like, hey, by the way, it released. That might be all they're going to do, because it's been out for almost a week now. But yeah, then, um, let's see. I think it's a bit too early for Three Houses DLC. Like, this, the Three Houses Season Pass is very much modeled after the Xenoblade 2 one, which is good, because that was a very good Season Pass. But they're doing the method of small things at the beginning, culminating in a big story thing at the end. And when Xenoblade did that, we did not get anything substantial enough to be worth showing off in a direct whatsoever until Torna. Like, Shulk and Fiora and Challenge Mode, 
was shown off at the treehouse at E3. But only Torna got the actual trailer. Now, obviously, that's E3, so that's different. But I don't think any of the first few DLC packs for FE are going to be direct-worthy. They're probably just going to be revealed via Twitter or other something just whenever and then come out. They might do another FE Direct at some point, like, based on 3 has a DLC, the next game. M rating, that's interesting. That could mean Bayonetta. That could mean, like, another DMC game getting ported. I'd be down for that. But, yeah. Uh, we definitely didn't go over everything I thought was going to happen. But let's see how this is, this is going to go. I'm extremely interested. Oh, yeah, Overwatch. I forgot. That was, like, basically a guarantee. So, yeah, that happened. But, uh, yeah. If they're revealing Overwatch now, then that means there's definitely not an Overwatch character in Smash. I don't think anyone was thinking that anymore. It was just like, oh, yeah, it's coming to Switch. Like, we knew it was going to happen eventually. This was an inevitability. And I honestly don't remember what Overwatch looks like on PC, so I don't know how downscaled this is. It probably is, but, like, whatever. People who play Overwatch are probably excited, and people who don't play Overwatch and wanted to and only have a Switch are probably also excited. But... Yeah, this was a, we knew this was happening, so I don't have anything very interesting to say about this. Um, I'm glad that they opened with the thing everyone knew about. That's like, I like this strategy. Like, I, I'm fairly certain that they opened the um, Smash Direct, or was it Smash Direct? The Direct where they revealed Belmont's and K. Rule. I think they opened that with Belmont's intentionally because they accidentally leaked it. But, oh, there's a release date. I didn't even notice. Um, Hello, everyone. Gonna open it a little bit. Alright, I, I made my wrong Takahashi joke at E3, but I like this guy, so I'm not gonna make it multiple times. The latest trailer for Overwatch. The latest trailer for Overwatch. The only actual trailer for Overwatch in years, besides anything that, like, was just, like, announcing a new character or something. Alright, yeah, <laughs> Nintendo Switch Headlines. Oh wait, Gyro I didn't realize. Oh wow. Okay, they're just starting with Luigi's Mansion, that's interesting. So this is going to be a big segment. Is that Scotland? Alright, so, they're like really pushing the hotel angle, but like, I like the fact that they just have, yep, we have ancient Egypt in a hotel now. But then again, this is like... This is all stuff that was basically in Dark Moon, so this is cool. This, like, I'm better with this than, like, just show a theme that was already in Dark Moon. This is a theme that was in Dark Moon. I love Luigi's model in this game, by the way. Is that a shark pirate ghost? Is that- oh! Did they bring back the possessor bosses? No one liked the possessor bosses. Oh, that's just not nice. That, that's just not pleasant to look at. But wait, yo, oh wait, well, oh no, I thought this was going to be a remake of the Nintendo Land minigame, but if there's just like straight up a minigame mode, I'm okay with that too. Also, nice Halloween release. Uh, new free to start Kirby game. Is this just a port of one of the other ones? Because like... Okay, yeah, it's just... It's not... I don't, don't want to say it's a port of the 3DS one, but it kind of is just a port of the 3DS one. Like, yeah, it's probably more stuff, and they did more than just use... port the assets to Star Allies instead of Robobot, but, like, who plays these? This is not what people want from a new Kirby game, as far as I know. Although they didn't say Switch Online, so that's nice. Okay, that's new. That wasn't in the 3DS game. Never mind, they just said Switch Online. Okay. Alright, so they... That's interesting, because, like, that was a Robobot boss that is, I not, don't think, in Star Allies. So that means that they're actually, like... Okay, Nightmare. That's new. People are probably happy for that. Especially if Nightmare is, like, in the logo. I'm talking with my hands very much, but I don't have face cam, obviously, so... I don't know why. Alright. Try as a matter remake. Okay. That, wait! The Luigi's Mansion segment is really short, actually. That's surprising. That is very surprising. 
I didn't realize Kirby was launching today. Wow. I'm not on my game right now. It's almost like I'm in a very compromising position. Oh, that's a character design. <laughs> oh, man. That's that's some lip syncing, too. Also, like... I'm guessing class changing wasn't a thing in the original game. They're like... Okay. Alright, I don't know what is new and what is just, yep, this was already in the game. It's like, it's really weird, the fact that they ported something and then had a remake, like, immediately. Like, I guess it's, oh, so fans of the old game have it, and then, like, if you don't, if you're not used to playing an SNES game, you, you have the new one, but still, it's, it's a weird business decision, I think. I don't think a lot of people are going to be buying things twice. Um, Return of the Overdin... Is this... I'm guessing this is a port, because I don't remember... I know that there was an Oberdin game that I already released, but I don't remember if it was this, or if this is a sequel to it. I think this is the original game getting ported, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't play indies that much. Like, I played Hollow Knight this year, and that did not come out this year. I have still not played Shovel Knight, so, you know... Alright, well, there's the M rating. Probably not. There's the T rating. But, yeah, this is... I know what this game is, like, sort of, but... This is getting more than Luigi's Mansion. That's weird. Why is Luigi's Mansion a headliner? I guess because it's releasing soon, and it's, like, a AAA title? But Pokemon's got to have a lot. They're spending this much time on it. Alright, that's... I don't like where they give Fall 2019. It's basically Fall already. Oh! Town! I forgot! We're actually getting Town news! That's that's some frame rate. Hey, look! It's Wooloo! Get it? Because... Game Freak. <laughs> so wait! Is the game still called Town? Because Town is the working title. Nice, I can see Game Freak is really stretching their character names. Like, they got Hop, now they got Axe. You're getting better, Game Freak. But yeah, I'm guessing this is just a new battle system. Oh, so it's like tactics plus turn-based. That's interesting. I am not interested in the game at all, but... That's like an interesting, like, they're, they're at least mixing things up instead of it just being turn-based RPG with life sim elements. Ah! Okay, that's interesting. Also, Little Town Hero, that is a much better name than just Town. <laughs> also, it's coming out soon. I didn't see the release date, but that is, okay. I'm not interested in it, but, yeah. Okay, Oberdin is a port. But here, here we go. Okay, town releases October 17th. Alright. Here's the Banjo thing. Okay, should have seen that coming. I haven't touched Smash since Hero Drop, though. But... <laughs> Sakurai! You don't know what... I thought he thought you were running out of money for this kind of stuff. But, yeah, that's nice. Like, this basically confirms that we're getting another trailer. Also, I like the arrow on 2D. Like, oh, here's our new trailer. Wasn't well, that special? So, is this gonna be? All right. So we're like scrolling back through consoles. Past the yeah, if we're going past the game and watch. Oh no. Okay, yeah. This is what people were thinking was coming. So, like, SNK and Nintendo have been super buddy-buddy recently, so, I mean, this can't be surprising, but I really like, they didn't, Ultimate Trailers didn't go hard on the style, like, the different art styles, but that's cool. Like, they actually did the Neo Geo style thing. <laughs> or is the joke, like, all the characters are fighting over it, and then it's actually going to get to... 
a representative. I'm sure most, like, people who are actually fans of SNK games are freaking out right now. But, like, the fact that there are so many characters in this trailer very much makes me think that they're all going to show up as cameos on the stage or something. This is long and drawn out, but very interesting. Like, is, are there going to be any other Smash characters in this trailer? Or is it- Nope! Just Smash Cut to Terry Faces the Fury. Now in development. Okay, that's why. I guess because they had to, like, rush Banjo out a lot. So, no gameplay. November, though. Alright. Alright, so that means the last character is going to be... Late. Because they said it was going to come out by, like, March 2020 or something? Yeah, like, if he's not coming out till... Could there really be only one left? Of course not. They're, they're adding more. Yeah. Who didn't see that coming? Who didn't see that coming? Other new fighters, they're like being nice and ooh about it, which, like, some of them are going to be echoes. They're going to add requested echoes. So, what do you it's think? a nice smile. Regarding what was announced really smug smile. Like, I also like how they knew people were going to be just disappointed about Terry, and then they were like, yo! Guess what? There's more characters coming. They're, they're getting really savvy with this, honestly. Also. Link's, Link's Awakening. The next big on is fast Again, I refuse to pay full price for this. It is a Game Boy Color game. The visuals are amazing, but it's still a Game Boy Color game with Game Boy Color length and little new content. Don't expect me to pay $60 for this. I will gladly pick this up used for like 20 or 30 but I refuse to, like, just on principle, refuse to pay full price for it. So, yeah. <laughs> People are just popping off like Rexel has a chance. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening will but yeah, I wanted to do a video with like all the Smash taglines explained, but if they're releasing more DLC characters, I'm gonna have to wait until they actually release all the characters. <laughs> um, that's not a very high resolution screenshot of Dragon Quest XI X, Echoes of an Elusive Age. It's S, not X. Whatever. I forgot the Definitive Edition part. So, yeah, uh, I'm picking this up at some point. I don't know when. Probably not on release, because, like, Astral Chain's bigger than I thought. And I'm still not done with Three Houses. So, you know. Free DLC. I don't get why you call it free DLC. Like, it's... I don't consider it to be DLC if it's free. But I don't know. I might just be stupid. I also don't remember the release date of this. Maybe I have time. I do not have time, dear god. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna probably end up playing this alongside Xenogears and Xenosaga. And yeah, the, the demo is available now, but good lord do I not have time for that. I have a lot of other things that need to be done. I also like how they had to have, like, the whole fanfare there. Okay! I wasn't expecting that. So is this a... <laughs> we, you can't get Persona 5 R, but you can totally get Tokyo Mirage Sessions R. That's amazing. So yeah, this is a, like, re-released, not a sequel. Oh, so they're going to have to put Three Houses stuff in here somehow. How are they going to shoehorn that in?
All right, so they, like they might uncensor this one. So here's a new so like a new song. These don't look like Three Houses characters. If anything, that looks like Fates. So yeah, that's sure. Okay. So yeah, the only thing that needs to be that needs to be ported now is X, and like 3D World and stuff. But if they're porting, if they ported TMS, TMS did worse than X by far. So X, like, it's possible now. But yeah, I don't know what this game is, and yeah, what is any of this? Honestly, it doesn't look very good, even but like by Switch standards. But I don't know. I don't know everything about games. All right, yeah, we get it. We get it. <laughs> Switch ports for everything. Um, I don't know if we knew about this already, but sure, that's apparently a good game. So I'm not going to complain. Metacritic must play. I've never seen that in a game trailer before. Like, Metacritic said it's good, so you know it's good. Uh, I'm assuming the online stuff was in the original game. Because it was a PC game, right? But, uh, let's see. Alright. Share clouds. That's interesting. That's, like, genuinely really cool. Okay. I'm not excited for it as a game, because as a game, I'd probably just play it on PC. But that is, like, genuinely a really cool thing to see. And now for a message, a message from Bethesda. Is it going to be, like, Doom Eternal or something? Or something cool. You later this year. Is it like not just Doom Eternal? Of hours your games on or are they gonna like take the Bethesda account restrictions off of playing all the Doom ports? Okay. It's still gonna require the account, but I think this has never been re released. So like this is sort of a big deal. But it's hampered by Bethesda being Bethesda, so it's hard to be like. I mean, this is cool because it's like actually upresed. But regardless, why you gotta be Bethesda, Bethesda? You don't gotta be Bethesda. I'm surprised this isn't a shadow drop. That seemed like the type of shadow drop thing. Alright. This looks like an action game. So like... I'm guessing this is a co-op shooter thing? Okay, yeah. Co-op online shooter. Hey, remember... That's not Devil's Third. It was some other game... There was like a free to play online thing for the Wii U and it did terribly. I'm getting I'm getting shades of that. Next, the new titles in the core Pokemon RPG. All right, so here's Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information. Don't know why the stream glitched up there, but sure. On this next Pokemon adventure. Oh yeah, Star Revolutions. That's like definitely happening. Oh man, my internet is pooping out a little bit. This none of this is new yet. The, uh, Leafeon's new, but like Eevee was already in the game, so. Big boy, large boy, imposing boy. Four features. I don't. Why is that four moving around a lot? 
customizing your look. All right. So, are male characters finally going to have the same amount of customization options as female ones? I don't know. But like, it looks like there's actually a decent amount of options for once. Like, I know they did this in previous games, but this is definitely... Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Okay. Or put on a little makeup. Yeah, there's a lot of colors available. That's that's good. They actually have customization options. Thank God. Don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. Pokemon Camp? Is this like the, the daycare Ami version in this game? Also, is that a shiny Alchemy? Did they just, like, casually show off a shiny Alchemy? What the hell came Alright, don't see any other... I thought there were going to be some other, like, stealth shinies in there, but I think they also, like, stealth confirmed some other things. Oh my god! <laughs> of course! It's Britain! So it's curry, so you can make curry. That's... Th <laughs> I... <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm sorry. Also, nice. Better motion control mini games than Let's Go. Also, like... Score Bunny. There's just something off about Score Bunny, but I still love it. That's a new thing. Again, I think that wasn't a leak, but... Creepy teapot Pokemon. Poltergeist. Poltegeist. You know, I approve of that pun. Like, that that's a bad enough pun for me to be okay with. Oh, I don't want to taste that thing's tea. Cramorant. I love this thing already. It's like ducklet, but infinitely more derpy. Uh, I don't think this evolves into Carbonite. No, it's a water flying, so... This could... E this even could have been regional ducklet. Or Swada. Okay, so is that, like, an also a new Pokemon? Or... Wow, they're really not talking about the anything about these games. Interesting. Well, how about that? Well, how about that? Months until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Galar region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online. Okay, so here's the year of Nintendo Switch Online. How are we going to get people to resub? Are we going to make this... And fun features. Fun features? Now, we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Additional library of games. Okay, this is what people were thinking. Entertainment system, Nintendo Switch Online. Like, this, GameCube, though? Classic, Super, Super Mario Kart, Kirby's Dream Course, Yoshi's Island. I've never played Yoshi's Island. Or Link to the Past. Or Mario World. So, like, this is actually more useful for me than the NES one, weirdly enough. Studies <laughs> FX... Ah, uh, Game Explains going wild about this. Um, which Puyo game is this? I don't actually know. Dreamland. Ghosts and Goblins, okay. And, alright, so... Is the rewind function just for Ghosts and Goblins? Because that would be funny. Also, they're like dumping larger amounts of games now, which is even better. That's good. Oh, it's course, super ghouls and ghosts, whatever. That is so much better. Breath of Fire, yo! That's amazing. I definitely need to play that. Oh my god, stop doing that. Of course you're doing that. And look, it's better than the NES one. I need some Switch controller with the decent D-pad. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the but still. Switch Pro controller. Okay, yeah, it, that is just a Switch Pro controller. Will be for purchase 
Also, it's cheaper than the NES Joy-Cons, thank God. That's just a Switch Pro controller without the gyro and thumbsticks, which is much better than the NES Joy-Cons. I don't know, wouldn't it just- can't you just use the SNES Classic controller? Tetris 99 version 2.0, I don't know. It's been 24 minutes and like nothing's blown me away yet. Especially since they blew the Pokemon and Luigi's Mansion already. I don't know why they're saying those are a big deal. Because they each got very small trailers. Pokemon's obviously going to have another Direct. Like. That's not a surprise at all, I don't think. But, interesting. Oh, okay, so... NES themes, whatever. A B? What's the B for? What's the spider for? I'm not paying attention to this because I don't play Tetris 99 whatsoever. So wait. Two player share battle is paid DLC. As is multiplayer. This- I don't know what this game is trying to be. I don't know if people still play it even. Alright. That's honestly hilarious. Like, a hilarious way to sell Tetris 99. But... Mario and Sonic, alright. So many of these things have just been, like, things that we expected already. But, let's see. Are they gonna reveal the whole leaked roster? Because apparently- the Nintendo managed to leak the roster! Or, no, it was Sega. It was Sega's fault. What am I saying? Sega leaked the roster for Mario and Sonic. Dude, that's also hilarious seeing the Genesis sprites alongside NES sprites. It looks so wrong, but so right at the same time. I also just love how the NES ones are animated like NES things, and the Genesis ones are animated like Genesis things, so that... What? <laughs> did they just... Did they just put Jumanji in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Is that what just happened? Uh, Damon X Machina... Um... Honestly... Astral Chain completely overshadowed this in terms of hype. I don't know if I'm still going to get it anymore. Like, I think Astral Chain nailed the basically being the X sequel I needed, or the, a thing to tide me over for X2, more than this ever will. So, I don't know if I have a need for this anymore. But, I mean, like, it looks like it's showing off a lot of tutorial stuff. And I also like how they're showing off Switch lights now, just with everything. I mean, the full game had, uh, online. Like, if it didn't have online, what would be the point, honestly? Uh, but let's see. Here is actually here is where they announce the Xenoblade X cameos, because that would get me to, to buy the game. <laughs> also, wow, it releases in like a week. Um. So, is this going to be the Star Wars N sixty four games or? Okay. Sure, sure, why not? Is this going to be the weird Disney section? Is this going to be just the the weird Disney section? Uh, because wouldn't the Lion King and Aladdin games getting remastered or something? What else is new? Thank God. Never mind. We already knew about this. I don't know why they like did it. Oh, what else is next? By the way, remember that thing we announced at E3? Uh, the Witcher 3 FPS. That's... Mm, like, it already looks downscaled. But, like, like, sure, Definitive Edition, or everything, or what? Okay. So this is just more... <laughs> more Assassin's Creed! Come on. Okay, apparently the Japanese Direct announced something. 
survival and the savage frontier I don't know what this is to play action RPG dauntless okay sure um brigandine I didn't know that there was a Japanese exclusive but whatever that was apparently announced in the Japanese version of the direct but I guess the what else is just like ports and third-party games because 10 minutes to go nothing new All right. okay is this gonna be the actual new things yokai Okay, how do you go from Yokai Watch to Farming Simulator? Wow, Just Dance. Totally didn't see that coming. It's coming to the Wii! Who cares about the Switch version? It's coming to the Wii! Car game. Alright. Like, the big big name what Farming Simulator, yeah. Sure. I'm, I'm actually surprised Yokai Watch didn't get, like, a full segment. Oh, no, that was Nino Kuni. Because it wasn't Yokai Watch, that's why. I don't know how I mixed that up. I actually want to get that. They'd get you know, can you? So I'm even more annoyed that I screwed that one up. I'm sure the comments are yelling at me too. Cause okay, I think I think we knew about this too. This is just things that were like announced in trailers on Nintendo's YouTube channel. Did not know Outer Worlds was coming to Switch though. Interesting. D DMC two. You're really porting DMC2 without DMC3. <laughs> okay, Capcom. Whatever you say, Capcom. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. All right, so this is This is the first This is the first Animal Cro like monolith thing. So this could be where all the monolith stuff came from. But, like, yeah, animal, it's Animal Crossing. Uh, I definitely heard about the deserted guy that did Gabba Diba. I saw the E3 trailer. This, like, they can't just do, like, a stealth Animal Crossing direct. This can't be the rest of it. Welcome to Island Life. Um, your hands are not making contact. I thought they actually did make contact in older games, but I might be wrong. We're choosing the deserted island getaway package. Dodo Airlines. So are Dodos extinct in the Animal Crossing universe too? For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the group of deserted island life. It may be a I'm sorry, I like it's Animal Crossing. I know I'm going to enjoy it. I don't have too much to say about it other than wow, it's cool that like oh last game you were in charge of the town, now you build a town from scratch. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Like the spot where you'd like it set up. I'm assuming that's where your house shows up eventually. And there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. I, I love the trend of giving characters smartphones in every game. So that Nook Milo's uh, icon is terrifying. Let's start by crafting an axe. Let's start by making an axe in this very wholesome game. But yeah, this is basically stuff that we'd known about from the Treehouse stuff. It's like, yeah, good for people who didn't see it, but anyone who was super interested in this game saw it already. So yeah, I don't think they need to tell us about a crafting system. But what do I know? I also like how the crafting material for a campfire is just wood. It's also interesting how they haven't shown far enough to the point where- Like, this is just Animal Crossing mechanics! Why are they spending so much time on this? Oh god, I thought that was the Mementos theme for a second. I was very confused. Aha, sell the weeds. In addition to the usual in-game currency belts, uh, let's see. you can also earn no An RPG called Moon um, is being ported to Switch on October 10th in Japan. You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. But let's see. There are many ways to I like I see that there are a lot more customization options. Go 
fishing? But, yeah, this is just Animal Crossing. Like, this stuff isn't- Oh, wow, Deserted Island. This is just how Animal Crossing works. I noticed that they haven't shown off a house yet. Or is everyone just tense? Do houses not exist in this game? Hmm. Yeah, they're just expositing on the trailer. But, yeah. I mean, moving trees without killing them is cool. Uh, I'm guessing that the weather system is better than in New Leaf, and that's what they're trying to talk about here. I'm like, this is new! And it all looks great! But, most of this isn't stuff that has, hasn't been able to have been extrapolated from the stuff that was already shown off. Again, this game needs to get a direct at some point in early 2020. But yeah, multiplayer. But, let's see. Uh, apparently Wonder Trade is coming back to Sword and Shield. It's just renamed to Surprise Trade. Also, I like those two villagers on the bottom getting Mike wazowski <laughs> I like how the 8th one is just Smash Villager just chilling there after murdering everybody. Yeah. Again, just the beginning. This needs an entire direct for herself. No, there are houses! So you do get houses eventually. They just didn't want to show it off. Oh no. Did I just see that you could change the shape of your pads in addition to putting them there? That's, like, unnecessarily large amounts of customization. But I know people are going to be extremely glad for it. Alright. There's, there's at least two more things. Because there's enough time for one trailer. For, like, an actual trailer. And then they need to one more thing us. Oh, okay. Okay, sure. So yeah, that could account for the Soraya Saga. But... Is this Xenoblade HD? Or at least a port? Because, yes, I mean, like... I can't tell because of the stream quality. This looks like it's a port. And not a remaster. But I can't tell. They might, like, update the models. Oh no! That's... They at least updated the models. Do you wish to change it? No, these are better mo Okay. So, it's... It looks like Xenoblade 2 mod... Not really, though. Okay. Yeah, so it looks like just the environments aren't... Much... Okay. Okay. Definitive Edition! No! You can't do that to me! You can't... Oh, no! Hello, Elia. Oh no, that's new armor! That's new armor! Wait, that was by on the shoulder, wasn't that? Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, is okay. reborn on Nintendo Switch as Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. The What's definitive about it? Is it just by on the shoulder? Please look forward to more announcements in the future. No, you get you can't end with that! That wasn't even 40 minutes! That was only 38 minutes! Nintendo, come on! You can't... You can't do that! And then be like, yeah, we're not gonna show anything else off. Come on. Come on. So yeah, that wasn't Takahashi's thing. They're working on a new game. Unless definitive edition... Like, definitive edition... I'm gonna mute talk, right? Sorry. But like, definitive edition means... I'm gonna means a couple new areas were added in, probably new post-game stuff, probably cameos from other games, and then, like, new armor and things, probably, uh, voice-acted certain quests that weren't voice-acted originally. But, yeah. I can't tell if this is Monolith working on it, or if this was Nintendo being like, yo, 
that game did well. But yeah, um, that was all I wanted. I have a new game to get. My channel's not dead because you know Blade One is getting ported. Yes, this is the best news. So yeah, uh, I'm happy. Goodbye.